Hey guys, this is Breezy Rules here, and I'm going to be showing you a tutorial of how to edit your photos on picnic.com. This was requested by I Love My Horse 1616. So, anyways, you go to you go to picnic. Just type in P I C K. No wait, P I C N I K dot com and you click upload photos once you're on the home page let me find and then you find the um you find the picture you want let me find one here i'm just going to use a picture breezy for this tutorial okay so once you have your photo uploaded it will automatically take you to the edit tab on edit tab there are many different tools such as resize right here you can resize your photo in case it's too big if you want to make a background for your youtube channel you might as well make it around 500 by whatever you can also increase the sharpness of your photo by just dragging the pointer back and forth on this bar as seen here for the cut you can click colors and you can increase the saturation or temperature as you can see it goes hot and cold kind of you can fix red eyes breezy doesn't have one in this photo but in case she did I would be able to fix it with this you can also rotate the photo if it's, you know, if you turn your camera sideways and take one of those um, lengthwise photos. Anyways, from the edit tab, you can, when you're done editing your photo, if you want to add effects and stuff, you click the create tab, and there are many different options on the toolbar. I've gone to effects, which is some of my favorite, and this effect is black and white, just making your making your picture black and white you can make it fade here's boost it increase increases the temperature and the you know the fuzziness of the photo soften just makes your um, makes your photo look a little more soft maybe a little you know viginette you can add mats or viginettes and you can make them in any color as I'm doing here And you can also zoom in in the corner. I forgot to tell you that. You can just drag the little box or click the zoom tab and just go. Here's HDR-ish. It kind of gets out the edges on your photo. Or tonish. This is one of my favorites. It really makes your photo look pretty by enhancing it. Tint is just tinting your photo any color you like, as I'm doing here invert making it negative of what it already is heat map this is kind of cool you just i don't really know what it does to your photo it just like uh, puts them all in different colors neon is making your photo look neon of course pencil sketch goofify this is this is pretty funny you can just i'm messing up breezy's head here um you know, you can just like mess up the photo a little bit, have fun with it, just click and drag your photo, and you can also enhance the strength over here. You can also click undo whenever you don't want to do something. For the holidays, you can do snow. That's free too. Going to text, how I add um, my logo and stuff. You can just type in your text in this little box up here and you click add. You can pick the color on this little text properties box. How have it fade into the photo, have it bold. And these are your um over to the left here, these are your different kinds of fonts. There are tons that are for free. They're, a lot of them are pretty cute. You can rotate them and make them bigger or smaller, debating on how you want them. Cursive, there's, you know, tough fonts. I don't know what to call them. Serious fonts, cute fonts, cursive, anything you like. Over on stickers, you can 
you can add stickers to your photo. As you can see, there are many premium stickers. The pr if it's premium, that means that only if you subscribe to Picnic, that means um, that you can't get those for free. But there are many... Um, there are many free stickers. You can rotate them, resize them, make them any color you like, as I'm doing with these shapes right here. And he, I'm a premium subscriber for like $5 a month. And this is one of the premium stickers, flowers. You can do holiday stickers. And I always use touch up for all my photos to make me to make it look good. Like there's blemish fix. This is one of the only touch up effects for free. Like if you have like a um, dimple or something that you don't want on your face, then you can just edit click on it and it'll be gone. Here's airbrush. This is a premium effect. It can be natural or strong. It you know kind of blends your photo. It's actually a cool kind of effect. Wrinkle remover. As you can see, I'm removing the wrinkles out of Breezy's face here. Blush. You know, it's, it's a makeup effect. Like, if you if you, um, you want your face to look cute, then just add some blush. Mascara. You can make the blacks look more bold like you do with your eyelashes and mascara. Um, these are the frames. There are many different frames, like the postage stamp. I'm making it a different color here. It's kind of cute. And, you know, there are, there are many different things you can do with Picnic. A lot of different things. Once you're done with your photo, let me just say this. You save your photo, choose a desired name, save it in wherever you want to save it, and you're done. Let me just say this. Ah, oh, stupid. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta save it as something else. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial on how to edit stuff on Picnic. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helps you. Bye.